Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I figured I would be doing a draw with me. So if you would like this kind of content in the future, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Check out my socials here on the side, whether they're up here, <laughs> my Fiverr, which is over here in this QR code, that kind of thing. So. Let's get right into it. Okay, so this is really perfect actually because I made this for last year's Pride and today is June 1st. So it's officially start of Pride Month. If you're new, you're not gonna know. But I am working on a comic book. This is not the same announcement I'm gonna make in a future video. I'm just letting you know this is something I've been working on for a while now. While I was working on the previous project on Canva.com, I was able to find these three characters. Please tell me that they don't look exactly like my family over here. I found them exactly as they were. I haven't altered these in any way. I just put them together in the same screen. But while I was working on Canva and just looking at these kind of cool characters, I was like, holy shit, this is literally Axelis, Alion, and Piper. And something I wanted to touch base on before I started to redraw them, which I wanted to see if I could do these simplified versions and make them look closer to my family over here. We are going to work from here <laughs> and I'm going to adjust them. I'm actually going to draw over them uh, on a different layer and make them look more like my characters here. Some of the rules I want to stick by to match this simplified style is you can kind of see how thin this line is and how it stays uniform. It doesn't go in and out with like a lot of pressure sensitivity, sensitivity if you want to keep that as simplified as possible. Uh, we want to remember that these are two color characters, you know, he is primarily uh, white and this red color because of the color scheme. Same thing with Piper. And Piper also has a mix between both of her father's uh, skin tones. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and lower the opacity just a little bit. And then also remember that white lines are counting as negative space to see within the colored version. And we will see how that turns out. Okay, so working on Axelis. Again, uh, his uh, ears are gonna be a little pointy and his hair is gonna be spiky. Again, simplified lines, white, two colors, got it. Uh, his hair tends to come down into almost like a bang and I really like symmetry so I kinda wanted to copy his side bangs <laughs> over, something like that. Of course, he's got his widow's peak Willow's Peak? I don't know what to call that. I do have some pressure sensitivity. I'm not used to drawing singular lines. I'm gonna have to find what the shortcut is for um, for Clip Studio Paint to just have to take the pressure sensitivity off. This would be pretty good to start with the hair and I would fill that. And since I connected all the lines, it filled up pretty nice. Make sure it's totally filled and that these are clean. There we go. We have to remember that his ears are a little pointy. Bring up the earlobe. Do it the way I always do it. I always give these little hooks. <laughs> this is just how I do it. I used to be super duper intricate, but we're trying to make it simplified. So if I had to do it with less strokes as possible, that's what I would try and do. And then we would want uh, that white space. He has like some wisps that go this way, so I'm just kind of copying those sharp waves, but also bringing it up like a bang. And you can kind of see how it plays with the negative space and gives it that kind of whoosh. I typically have more. Like I said, this was from a year ago, it's not as updated. In fact, let me try and find a better updated version. So as you can see, they look so much different now as in 2021. But you can already see that I was trying to make it more manga style, giving him more wisps, and trying to make him look more detailed buff. Basically, we're gonna go ahead and keep working off this one since it's the more updated one. I had a hard time deciding if I wanted to keep these simplified versions the same 
uh, color, which would be the purple up here. Or if I wanted to also go ahead and go in and give him his green eyes. Because one of the ways that you'll see Piper matching her parents is through her eyes. She has a lion's blue eyes and Axelus's hair. And I guess because he's a demon it could work if they were a little bit scary looking, I guess. And then of course he's a little bit happier looking, but he still has these triangle shaped eyes but they're still simplified for the most part. He typically has like fangs because he's a demon and so I'm just gonna go ahead and redraw down that and make it. I like the simplified nose but I part of my style is having this like little triangle. Since he is more muscular I want to make it a little bit bigger though so I'll bring it out here even. And we're trying to keep that as simplified as possible. Um, just like that. I needed something off color, but this is too dark. I don't like it. That looks way better. I am so sorry. <laughs> and that works out pretty well. That's going to be white because when you're looking at the normal one, you can kind of tell that it is red and then white. Red and white. It's literally just two colors. So we just want to copy that into the new one as well. This will be white, the skin will be white. This part probably could be colored like this, any negative space like that. It's really hard keeping these angle or these lines straight. It's hard to like keep my focus <laughs> to be like, hey remember these have to be smooth lines like uniform all the way around and I'll admit that's hard for me so I'm gonna have to practice on that. That is such a valuable lesson for 2021, by the way. If anyone tells you that you suck at something, instead of taking it as a, you suck, don't ever do that again, it's more of like, okay, that's an area I really need to work on because the ones you don't want to do the most are the ones you need to work on the most. You just got to get through the uncomfortable feeling first and it's a really hard pill to swallow for a lot of people, but it's how you grow in as an artist. You work on what you suck at and you won't suck at it anymore. Okay, so we kind of have that down. He's going to be white all over, except for his hair, eyebrows, negative space, of course, and Axelus looks pretty good to go. So as you can see, it's already being transformed. Later, I'll work on a full body version, but for now, we'll just keep it simple. So I wonder if it would be okay to kind of give him simplified muscles. It's still make them beefy, but simple. Maybe. We'll see. Again, make sure they're not cutting through any of the lines. You can do this with your own characters too. You guys should try and go on Canva and see if there's anyone who kind of resembles the character you're thinking about for your comic or your book. It just might just be a good reference to help you practice, you know? It's okay to practice from reference. So then we have Piper. Piper is usually just this is the best version of Kid Piper that I have, and so this is what I mean by I gave her a lion's blue, icy blue eyes and had her father's red hair that goes into being a little bit darker. Um, and so we kind of want to do the same here. You can tell up here that she has like this little spoof, and so I'm going to go ahead and give Piper uh, that over here too. And make it simplified. It will come down so it'll be white, which you can't see, but it will show up when I go to color her hair. I'll make it rounded for the sake of matching this simple style. And this is how I draw her hair anyway. I'm always coming down in that swoop, but I kind of like how it's simplified and a little bit more carefree, but still looks uniform and professional. You know what I mean? I don't want my stuff to look like it did when I was five and drawing janky lines, but I got a bad wrist. Piper also has her pointed ear uh, and then normally her hair would be down and she would have like a little bit of a point coming out and you can always check to see if that's matching up by kind of putting your pencil towards the screen and like is this leveling out. For any artist who has had a lot of practice watch, uh, reading those drawing books um, it will always show you doing like, you know, a circle 
and the face and how everything is going to line up kind of this way and when you're learning anatomy it kind of goes that way so you can always check your drawing to be like is it uniform also big tip you want to flip it flipping it forces your eye to look differently at it i should have done that with axles I'm really bad about flipping, to be honest. I have to flip better, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so now you can see everything comes in uh, a lot more clear. And I like that I can see it better on my recording process. That's hilarious. Okay, you can kind of see I'm already slightly failing. There's not quite as clean of a line. I might need to go in and use the line tool like this and make it more clean. So I guess I had it up too high like this so I need to make it more down I'm terrible about remembering what I've done and going too far to the point where I'm like no if I change it I won't like it and then I have to go back and erase it's a curse of an artist like my pros my workflow is not very workflow friendly <laughs> and that's just how it is but it's okay I'm not too worried about it I'll get over it I'll learn we'll all learn you know as uh what's his face said we got a bunch of bunch of little baby brains. <laughs> I'm gonna do the first layer of her eyes simplified. It's just a line down. She has pretty thin eyebrows. They kind of look like her dad's. She also has fangs. They're not very present in here, but I am making them more um, dominant in future drafts. So you'll just have to keep going up to my Instagram to make that work. So, <laughs> to see my work in progress, rather. Okay, so then she's got Axelis's eyes, which are just this, like, icy blue up here. It looks a little creepy, but at the same time, I kind of like it, so I'm not worried. And then finish making her face. She typically has just a blue shirt. Try to make things easier on yourself as much as possible. <laughs> Uh, you have the technology, it is okay to, you know, make stuff work to your advantage, give you a shortcut. It's okay. It will save you time, it will make you more money. We're gonna go ahead and we'll fill her hair in. Let's see if it works out. Oh no, it didn't want to take the white part, so we'll have to go ahead and fill that again. And do hotkeys, guys. I'm using my keyboard. Um, to flip between brushes and stuff. So if you're wondering how I'm doing that so fast, it's because I can just be like, yo, A, pin, B, brush, D, eraser, F, flip, you know, that kind of thing. Do what's more comfortable for you, but, you know, get yourself a little bit, one of those gamer keyboards. And uh, I just got a normal black one, but you could do whatever you want to make it work. And you don't have to be expensive. You don't have to be on this giant ass tablet to be able to do these kind of simple drawings, you know? You can even go on your phone. You can download an app for Android called IBS Paint. I think it's also for uh, Apple products. Uh, you can do it on both. They have versions for both. But if you have like a small stylist with your phone, like you can do it there too. And at the very least, you can always draw on a piece of paper. You don't have to go balls to the wall like it took me 13 years to get to this position to be able to buy my to get my tablet and my husband got this tablet for me instead as initial investment in my art career so big shout out to my husband <laughs> he's awesome um but like i said you don't have to go super expensive to enjoy digital art and if you do have the money invest a little bit you really deserve it and just invest in yourself get clip studio paint or painter or something they're much uh, they're on the much more cheaper end of things so anyway before i get too carried away i'm on white and again we're going to make those simplified designs and we're still copying how we would do it with axolos with those white lines and that way you can kind of see here like what i did with the black line to make it come down and it's still simplified like we did before we're going to copy just hit Control c Control v this is to copy the layer over here on the side if you can see that and the copy we're going to put it under and then we're going to fill like that and then everything is covered and this also shows me that i didn't remember <laughs> to put in her teeth like that's close the one we've worked on already so <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm happy with it. So with that, we will go ahead and merge those two layers. 
Now, we're gonna work on a lion where he has the yellow aesthetic. Really, I'm just going with their hair because that's easiest to identify with people. We're gonna have to give him a little spoof, make it spiky, give him blue eyes, see how that looks. We'll decide at the end. Vote below in the comments below. Should I give them their eyes like this or is it too creepy? <laughs> So then we'll go ahead and go on to a lion, and again, we're going to color drop him. We'll go ahead and make it simple. We'll follow this line and make it nice and round like this, and give him a hair tie back here. And then we're going to make it slightly spiky. Sounds good. Looks great. Again, I like more sharp angles, more square. I don't really like these dots. I'll be honest, I don't really like that as much. So I could opt to just leave them or continue the line here. But I don't really like that either, to be honest. So what if I just do this? Like, make it a simplified, make it look like it's coming down that way. And then, of course, giving him a little spoof for the front. That's also a triangle. And that one also had lines, so I'll connect his his floof that way and then of course he's got like a big smile a chiseled uh, jawline uh, and then we will also give him his base and his blue eyes he looks a little bit more friendly <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and keep it that way I don't want to fill it so much I'm going to go ahead and just fill his shirt though so there is something fully colored and then everything else will be white. Just to keep up with the same simple design because yeah, I feel like if I were to color it, it might be too much and they're only supposed to be two colors a piece. So that's what we'll do. Okay, and then we can turn off the untitled version, the one that's got on the bottom for now. Just so we can see how that worked out and see what it's about. It's a lot easier to see on your guys' side as opposed to mine, so I'll just move over here for a second while I'm looking. But really, I like how that kind of came out. You can see now how they look more similar to the original design, like this. And then it's the same thing with Piper. This is what they originally looked like. He was clean everywhere. He had these like clean angles, you know, not too sharp, but not too soft. It was like just really nice in the middle and white uh, negative space for detail and everything and so we copied that in our own and we made it to where you can see his bangs as negative space in here um, just because it's different and it stayed within the two color limit but technically I broke that rule I just didn't realize by looking at their eyes and so I kind of broke that rule. Maybe they don't need them. If I wanted to keep it super stylized, I wouldn't have to, but I feel like once you know the rules, you can then break them. So I'm gonna keep their eyes the same for now, if I can, just to until I practice a little bit more. But I just thought it was so cool that I found some characters <laughs> that look like mine, and then I realized, well, I am pulling from some very common sources uh, or influences, I should say, not necessarily sources, because they are a merge and a muddy puddle of a variety of mood boards that I had put together when thinking of the character design and the concept um, and all of that jazz. I figured I have had you long enough, this is a very long video, uh, at least for me, I've been recording for about an hour now, and I wanted to just give you an intro into what all I've been doing. So that's it for now. If you like this kind of content, please uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Uh, I will be uploading more videos like this pretty regularly. We'll be seeing what I make in the future. If you have any requests, if you have commissions that you would like me to do, please hit up my Fiverr, which is here in this QR code. It's also in the link in the description box below check out my social media, see what you like, uh, hit me up, and your commission will also be up on the screen if you would like it to be. Uh, just check out my prices, see what package is available for you, and I will be more than happy to put them up here so you can see. And yeah, welcome to my family. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. Take care of yourselves, be safe, and get out there and start drawing. You know what I mean? pour some pixie dust on it. Who's a shiny bitch? You are. <laughs>
Okay, but for real. Bye-bye.